Okay guys, I missed this one on Chili's livestream the other night, but luckily Law Talk with Mike didn't. And after watching it, well, I just knew I had to cover it. So thanks Mike. Yeah, it's a 1 hour 40 minute live stream titled Ironton Court Stories. And in that stream, there's a little 10 minute nugget of gold where Chili is quote unquote interviewing people in court. When he finally comes up against this wonderful hard working lady who seems to be a very well respected member of the community, who understands the local system so she can see straight through his BS and she's not afraid to call him out on his nonsense straight to his face. And it's glorious. Let's get into the video. I'm using you. Go, go on camera, tell them. T tell everybody. I give you a fair chance to speak. You are using people. Well, I'm using them. For You're what? You're using these people. For what, what do I get out of it? For your own publicity. For my publicity? Yes. Because I just want to be famous? I don't know. I didn't study constitutional law for 20 years. I don't understand the federalist I, papers. I, I, I don't know what I didn't did. read the Constitution? You might have. So you mean that poor, uneducated people who most don't have their teeth, there'd be no reason why I would want to stand up for their rights. No reason at all. No, listen. Wow, so that's what you really think about the people of Ironton. I mean, who would describe the people you're supposedly trying to help in that way? What is the matter with you? Listen, I'm all about rights. Well, then you're hearing the stories? Did I make these I've stories I've lived up? in this community, so, these communities. So has anybody else come here and expose these stories? So everything isn't fair, everything isn't right. Oh, it's what not fair. What these people need what, to do... You mean like playing, come over here, ma'am. I, 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 no, I, I, I can't be with the music. They want to shut me down, I'll come over here. I want to give you a fair chance. I, everybody gets a chance to tell their point of view. You do too. What everybody needs to do is get out and vote against these people. Vote against them? Yeah, vote against anyone that they feel like is giving unfair treatment. No, I want to address though, you walked by these people when I wasn't here and you said that I was using them yes. for my publicity. Yes. Uh -huh. you're, you're raising money. I'm you're raising money. You're doing it the wrong way. I'm doing it the wrong way. Yes. Transparency is the wrong way. No, transparency is not the wrong way. Has anybody ever taken their stories before? Has this account been made public before? Ha have they gone to anyone to, to have that done before? It doesn't work. Nothing works. The courts don't work. The lawyers don't work. So, so Actually, you tested the system the other night when you got arrested in the town hall, and it worked perfectly then. And you do seem to have made a lot of money since you rocked up in Ironton. I think Blue Bacon estimates it at around 35 grand in roughly a week. So you're telling me that this is happening in such a way in a small town in Ironton, Ohio. Let me just tell you this. Now answer the question, stay on topic. I, you said I'm using these Listen people me, for publicity. That's what you, you said. You don't control my conversation. No, but, but I have... People need to get a job, okay, get to work. They need to be upstanding citizens. I do. I don't break the law. I don't have a bit of trouble. No troubles. No troubles. My son has broken the law. I didn't agree with the treatment that he always got. What kind of treatment you know did your son get? He had to stay in the Lawrence County Jail. He had to go to prison. He did drugs. So he should go to prison for the drugs he did? He, for the crimes that he committed when he did the drugs, yes. So he committed crimes when he was on drugs? Yes. Okay. Well, what I'm saying to you is, is for me to come here with him enables that. So, yeah. so what I'm saying is, I don't break the law. I don't have any trouble. So, the so why, if you break the law, or if you do something outside of, why is there someone that needs to defend you? Because no one has come and stood up for these people. Nobody. And by the way... Well, what is what have people done to these people that is so bad? Well, did you see last night Derek Medley's story? I No, I, I don't follow this. People at my work have followed this. You don't, you're not, you're not looking at what the people here are saying. Here, the, in, the people who live here. Here in, in, in Ironton? Yes. I'm hearing what they say. Do, are you not watching their testimony? No, I'm hearing what they're saying about all of this. Do, this I'm hearing born. what the people that work... And live in these communities. That, that work. Are he doesn't work. He doesn't work. I don't know if he works. He said he was pulled over five times is. in a week. Five times in a week. For what? I don't know. What were we pulled over five times in a week for? Drugs. They're trying to. They said that we have drugs in there. Do you have drugs in your vehicle? No. They searched it, right? No. no. Okay. <laughs> they searched it, right? No. That's not what Chili wanted to hear. Then. Yeah. As always, we're not getting the whole story here. There could be a marker on the car for drugs, but Chili is not interested in finding out the truth especially if it goes against his narrative. 
Okay, so so I don't know, but I know this. I Did know, your vehicle get searched? Has my vehicle yeah. been searched? Yeah, you get pulled over and searched? No, but when I had no. my, when my son was with me, or or when he was driving my vehicle, and he was hanging with people that were doing drugs, or he was affiliated with people that were doing drugs, he got searched. Boom! There you go. See, if you would just dig that little bit deeper into these cases and not just go off the hearsay, then we might actually give you a bit of credit. But I guess cases that can be reasonably explained are not very good for business, eh, Chile? So what I'm saying to you Things is are going better now, though, because of all this. The, dr the, war the, the drug epidemic is less. There's less drug problem now because of the criminal justice system. Is that what you're saying? Things are going great, this system. This system is working amazing. That's no, what you're saying? No, I'm not. Okay. Hang on, she had a really good point there, but because it didn't fit your narrative, you changed the topic. What was that you said earlier about staying on topic? Okay, so you don't, you don't want to change it? Change what? That people go to a dungeon for drugs when they're addicted to drugs instead of helping them. No, so I think they are trying to change some of that. <laughs> they are. I, I, I've literally read posts and see posts that, uh, Ballard, Finley, both of those judges are, are implementing new drug uh, programs and things through their courts. The things I've heard about Ballard are nothing short of atrocious. And so... Well, then you've been misinformed. I've been misinformed. So Ballard is doing a bang-up job on the court. Okay. Ba I think he's doing Mr. a great Ballard job. Ballard is doing a great job. He's doing a good job okay. at what he's doing. Yes, I do. Okay. okay. And so now you said here that i So I'm, my son is now a star. What do I get? He's, very, he's benefited greatly from star. Okay. So he left prison and he went to Star, okay. something that I don't normally talk about. But the, the system is helping those people that want help. Okay, cool, cool. That, so now now we, we got your story. I gave you an opportunity. But now tell me what I get out of this. What You said I'm using these people. What do I, What am I getting out of it? Well, so, so, so people watch this. And I'm just telling you from what I've heard. I, I don't watch these feeds because- Why don't you? This is your town, lady. You're, this is your town. Well, this isn't my town. This is where my business is. But oh, this is, oh, so do you just suck off these people then? You make money off these people and then you leave town. Wow, what an hypocrite. That's exactly what you've just done, Chile. You sucked this town dry, then left. Wow. No, I, I these care about people. these people. But these are your people then. This is no, your neighborhood. I came here to help you. That are here. So, so you said this isn't your town. Where's your town? It's close by. Okay, so your town's close by. So then all the people, the dozen, three dozen people so far on camera, what about them? What about them? Don't you give a damn that, what about Teresa Ward who was well, held first down? First of all, I work two, two jobs. I'm not saying, no. I don't have time to sit and watch a feed of somebody that's out creating what? chaos. In creating chaos. Yes. So I'm so, the creator of chaos. That's right, you are the creator of chaos. You come in from California, and you're the creator of chaos. That's exactly what you are. And these people are being fooled by you. You're nothing but an idiot. An idiot. His brother getting jumped by Henshaw when he was well, on heroin? That doesn't, that doesn't I'm happen. I'm not saying that there aren't bad instances. There's not bad people. There's not bad police. There's not bad in everything. But you are not the answer to the problem. I'm, I'm the problem, right? <laughs> You are part of the And problem. I'm an idiot. You haven't, seen, you haven't seen my lectures on constitutional law or the history. I don't give a shit about your lectures on constitutional law or history. You don't care about you it. You sit there and say that uh, Andy Ballard and the things that he's done and Kristen Finley and the things that they've done are not good things. You are sad I said mistaken. That, and you know what? You haven't been in town to know all that stuff. Oh, so I couldn't get testimony from people. I said the reports I'm testimony getting. testimony from who? These folks right here. Are they lying? Okay. Yeah. Was their, was their son stomped on when he was on heroin? Was their son stomped on? Not a credible person. Okay, okay. Okay, there it is. So, yeah, can we just have this lady on standby at every court Chili turns up to from now on, please? So she can continually school him over and over again. Because she was awesome. I loved how he told her to stay on topic, yet he couldn't when presented with the cold hard truths of his BS. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. 
If you would like to become a patron and get early access to videos like this, then the link to my page is in the description below. Take care all, and I will catch you in the next one.